I got a haircut. That's the only good part about this. Bruins lose 5-1 to the New York Islanders. Welcome back down into the den. Harp always makes things go better. Look, I'm not going to lie. This is one that you just burn the tape on. And I know. I know. Actually, no. No, no, no. No. You don't burn the tape on this one. This is one where, as I forget who said it on Twitter. I could probably find it. Uh, Freaking, let's pull up Twitter on the phone. Nick Melanson of, uh, uh Nick Melanson of the, uh, uh of, of the Something's Bruin podcast say says, I hope the Bruins team bus gets stuck in the Long Island traffic on the way to the airport. Give them time to think long and hard about this one. Yep. Yeah, that's that's about it. Hmm. Did they like put lemon in this freaking cannoli? What? What the hell? What? What? What the hell are you? Yeah, that, yeah, that, this is, that's. Look, if you're, if you're going to be pissed at me for, uh, for treat, for being completely unfocused on this one, uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm just cosplaying the Bruins tonight. Uh, <laughs> mm. I mean, it's still a good cannoli. Might have been the worst game that we've seen from Lorai so far. I don't know. He's only a rookie. He's still allowed to have bad games. He's still allowed to have games this bad. Doesn't mean I can't still put, point him out. We allowed... Honestly, the moment that we allowed that natural hat trick from Kyle Palmieri, I, kn I knew that it was over. I know. Justin Brazio and... And uh, and Matt Grizzly both out uh, to went to injury, so on a so four boards in, and my sanity is out. But you know who else is in? The only goal scorer for the Bruins tonight, Mark McLaughlin. Which I'm sorry, I'm I'm sorry. And look, he. he he was he was he was jazzed for tonight. He was jazzed for tonight. He he was one of only two Bruin skaters that was actually putting in work. Eric, Allmark was uh, Allmark was throwing himself around trying to uh, trying to keep you know, the Bruins in this one, and we just would not allow him to. We just we were just pissing it all away. Hey, could not get any offensive momentum um, going. Could not do a damn thing. All we have is that one good goal from uh, from Mark McLaughlin and uh, Jacob Lauco just honestly pushing him, pushing, uh, pushing himself more than I've seen him push himself this season. Like, you, like honestly, this might genuinely have been Lauco's uh, one of Lauco's better games, which is surprising because we lost this game five one. Like I, I, I really don't know what else to say. I this this is gonna be a short one. This is gonna be a short one. Because that that's pretty much all I have to say. It's pretty much all I have to say. Other than man in other than Zaka also got injured in this game. So this deadline's gonna be weird. This deadline is gonna be really weird. We are getting only more and more injured. So, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to... The only thing that I ask, the only thing, don't bring in a rental. 
if you're gonna bring in anybody make sure that he's here for a while because this team is this team is definitely in a transitional period this team is definitely in a state of flux and honestly at this point i know that i know that all things considered he didn't have a terrible game i wouldn't mind your bus going and that's that feels like sacrilege to say. I that feels horrible to say. I don't entirely mind him going. I I I would love him to stay. I wouldn't mind him going. I really wouldn't mind him going. I mean, but more than anything, this just makes this just reminds me of one thing. We left uh, what is it last year we dropped mike riley to waivers mike riley a guy uh, a player who uh, who was on the ice against us this game mm. the he was one of the defensemen that we were playing against this game and last year we dropped him to waivers we dropped him to waivers because he was just he wasn't as he wasn't good enough for what we were looking for he was not good enough and and that resulted in us taking on a in a buried penalty that resulted in us taking on a penalty to bury his contract and you know what i think it was worth it i think it was worth it because because is the buried penalty was only a little bit of his cap of his normal cap space of his normal cap hit why not do the same for Forbort? Why not do the same for Forbort? Hmm. Now I know. Our defenseman. Kind of kind of one thing. I mean. I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. Get Forbort off my team. Get him off my team right now. Please. I beg you. Get Derek Forbort off my team right now. Bring up I don't know, fucking Ryan Mast, Jackson Edward. I, I would rather see Jackson Edward on the ice right now than uh, than see uh, than see Derek Forbort on on the ice right now. At the very least, uh, at the very least, whatever. Uh, at the very least, Jackson Edward is gonna uh, put in an insane amount of effort, and we you know, get the jo and we get Jack Edwards jo uh, joking about uh, how similar their names are. Forbort, not. We've been using not good enough way too way too often this game, way too often this season. And you know what? It unfortunately still rings true. Now, you have a game on you have a game on Monday against the Leafs, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Get your shit together. Get it together. Get it together, because right now. Right now, you guys are in a tailslide, and I know you just just beat the you just beat you just beat two days ago the defending Stanley Cup winner. You beat that team after uh, after allowing them to recover from three goal deficit, two different three goal deficits. You were up three nothing, and then you were you were up three nothing. They scored, and then you scored again. So uh, so you were up four one. You allowed them to come back from three from two different. You allowed them to, you put them at a three goal deficit at two points during that, at two times during that game, and you only just barely eked out of it with a win. Figure your shit out, please before before Monday. Please, please, I beg you. 